Okay guys, um, before I go to work this morning, let's take a quick update on the F4 Phantom. Um, we did some weathering. Uh, we've added some, uh, these are some antennas that were, I think for some countermeasures, I think, uh, that were put on. Some of the navy variants um, also for those sticklers out there I went back and I changed the shape of this rail to be pointy so now you guys can get off my back about that um, what else did we do everything I think we're done with the weathering I think it's uh, time to upgrade to the 8S engine on it. I'm going to upgrade to an 8S so I can carry some more stuff on it. Um, like we said, uh, I just want to make sure for those disbelievers, give you a nice close up look at this area right here. Right in here is where that hole was that went all the way through the wing from the first crash. You see that? You can't even tell it was there. Wow. Man, that is awesome. Um, and that was Beacon foam filler and uh, a lot of wet sanding over a couple days took me to get that smooth enough so I could paint it, spray it, blend it in, and it looks great. Lots of weathering on the bottom. RC Geek made this tank for me, centerline. And RC Geek also made the nozzles for me exhaust nozzles so give them a ring up of course these are Kelly graphics on here and the paint is Rust-Oleum 2x primer only with the white and the black everything else is decals Looks good. All right. I'm out, guys. I got to go to work. Peace out.